Hey guys, cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. Two things that I wanted to show y'all or just chat a minute while I'm doing them. Uh, probably the second most popular recipe on this whole vlog. First would be the three B cabbage. This one is the McLean's Little Middle School Peanut Butter Bars. I'm getting ready for my son to come home for dinner and bring four of his teammates from the football team at Wake Forest. So you gotta feed them you know, stick to your bones. So they had the choice of hamburgers on the grill or spaghetti, they chose spaghetti. So I'm doing spaghetti. I'm gonna surprise them with um, sausage cheese dip. They love that, it's like their favorite. Um, I'm also going to put together some peanut butter bars to send back with them. And I'm gonna put together a peach cobbler because I had some peaches in my freezer. So anyway, hey Beth Lambert, you hadn't caught me live in 100 years, you've been busy. It's uh, when, I, I think everyone gets excited when your child, male or female, is coming home unexpected from school or from wherever, it's great. And um, so I got the phone call last night and Spencer said, baby boy said, hey mom, what are you doing? Well, in our house, that means I'm getting ready to ask you for something, mom. That's what it means. Hey mom, what are you doing? Because usually they're calling for a reason. They just get right to it and go, hey mom, you know, I need such and such. So <laughs> I knew there was a plot, but I'm happy about this one. So I'm gonna put together these peanut butter bars. I've done these a hundred times, maybe a hundred times on here, but honestly, if you've never tried them and you love peanut butter or your family does, it's definitely a must try. Um, I'm gonna put in two cups of Peter Pan uh, creamy peanut butter. You can use crunchy, but I do recommend Peter Pan. There's something about it. I've done it with other peanut butters before. It does not turn out as well. I've even done this as a unicorn one night, y'all. Just saying, kind of liven it up. Anyway, you just never know what you might see on here or how I might be dressed or what I might be wearing. It's just no telling. But you know, it's like Simon Cowell says, you gotta be memorable, right? Right. So two cups, Peter Pan, peanut butter, creamy or crunchy. Mine do not like crunchy. I don't know why they never have. They're weird, whatever. Anyway, all right, let me grab this. I melted one stick of butter in the microwave. I'm gonna add my peanut butter to it. And then I put my, pat my one stick of butter in the oven to melt for my peach cobbler. I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna add to this one teaspoon of vanilla and I'm gonna reset this oven because my butter is not quite melted. I'm gonna set my timer so I don't burn the butter. Okay, one teaspoon. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm just gonna eyeball it. And then you're gonna do two cups of graham cracker crumbs. And you know, if you want to just mix something healthy in here, you could do flaxseed, you could do um, oatmeal, like, you know, whole oats or whatever. That would be something you could sneak in there. I'm not gonna sneak anything in here tonight because they're used to these, they'll know. I've done them a million trillion times. My kids know a good peanut butter bar compared to a good one that mom's laced with something healthy. Just saying. Been there, done that. But it is a good idea. Just saying. Kathy, I didn't use vanilla bean paste. I saved those from our baked goods. And you know, it's not that cheap, so I try to use it, you know, cautiously. Anyway, to this, and I'll repeat this for you, I'm gonna add two cups of powdered sugar. I guess you could put coconut in them, for sure. Or chocolate chips, or you can melt chocolate chips, put it over the top, I've done that before. But honestly, my group likes them just like this. I'm just saying. Anyway, so um, I try to look up and answer questions or chit chat best I can. I had somebody comment just recently, <laughs> she never answers our questions anymore. And I'm like, lady, sometimes there's seven or 800 people, there's 860 right now. 
I can't, I can't do all that and do this and do it well. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, just never gonna please everybody. Just can't, it, it's not even possible. Okay, I gotta find a portable because I don't like to send my good ones back and forth to school with the guys. But I'm gonna mix this up and I'll show you what it looks like. I'm gonna press it into a 13 by nine inch or a nine by nine, either one. And if I can't find a portable one, then they'll get it in my casserole dish and then I will cut them and put them in a Tupperware that they can take back to school. And I don't care if it gets squashed or mashed or never returned, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'd love to hear from y'all about what your go-to dish is for when your kids are coming home. Everybody has their favorite. So let's open that up, see what people are saying. Eating some of the I, I know, Beth, I've been there, done that, honey. Yes, I know you're ready for school to start. I get it. I remember those days. Yes, I do. Get back on the schedule for sure. I'm sweating. Before I went live, I was out in the yard. And it's just kind of humid here. Matter of fact, I'm going to grab a tissue. Wipe the sweat off of my brow before I start seeing squirrels. Forget what the heck I'm doing. Anyway, peanut butter bars. Grandson loves taco casserole. Ooh, that sounds delicious, Doris. Sweet and sour meatballs. Love that, too. My daughter loves buffalo dip. Oh, yes, that's a go-to for us during football season for sure. I know, almost a thousand people. That's crazy. What are you making, Rhonda? I am making the famous McLean's School peanut butter bars. Baby boy's coming home and bring in a crew. It looks like this, y'all. And it's delicious. Best part is you get to lick it off. I'm just saying. I'm going to get my hands washed after I finish licking them. Hope you have a good day. I have had a good day. I hope y'all have too. Sid came. We worked on Sun as for Peach Cobber. Lori, my guys, Baby Boy doesn't ask for Peach Cobber, but his friends do. And they love it. And maybe they'll let us do a taste test tonight live for y'all. Give y'all the rundown. Today, in my spaghetti sauce, I used my homemade spaghetti sauce. Chocolate cobbler. That sounds delicious, Beverly. Chicken parm. I love that too, darling. My guys like that. Oh, roast beef with potatoes and carrots and peanut butter pie. Oh, oh I love peanut butter pie. And my guys like peanut butter pie too. My guys like anything peanut butter, honestly. Honestly. Anything peanut butter is a go here. All right, let me grab this. Hang tight, just a second. And I'm hoping Sassy Sid will come back and eat with us later tonight. Okay. You know what, I'm gonna have to sit this somewhere else. I've melted one stick of butter. I'm going on to the peach cobbler. One stick of butter in the bottom of the pan. And I'm gonna have to figure out another place to set this because I gotta mix something up and put in it. So hang on just a second. I know I'm squirreling a little bit. I got a lot of stuff covering the cabinets though with that many people coming to eat, you can imagine. Okay, here's what I'm gonna mix up. Two cups of milk, two cups of self-rising flour. Sorry, not two, what'd I say? One, one cup of milk, one cup of self-rising flour, one cup of granulated white sugar. And I have more peaches than I normally have in this one bag that I froze, but it, it, it won't matter. It'll just taste better having the peaches in it, you know. Okay, so there's one cup of that. Let's get my one cup of self-rising flour in. Let's see. Yeah, peanut butter, anything around here too, honestly. But really guys, for you people that have not tried this recipe, easy, I'm still talking about peanut butter bars. I could talk about them all day. Easy, 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 go to for peanut butter lovers. Just saying. Anyway. Peach cobbler, one cup of milk, one cup of self-rising flour, and we'll give that a zhuzh. One cup of granulated white sugar. One stick of butter that's already melted in the pan. I'm gonna give this a mix. I'm 
and let me grab that. Let me tilt that for y'all. Just trying to see what y'all are saying. But anyway, okay, let me get this out of the way. Like I said, there's a lot going on in this kitchen. I'm gonna add about a half a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring, just because I want to. And I'm gonna add just a tiny bit. It has been a hot as firecracker here. Yeah, it's been hot, but listen, not as hot as it can be. You know, this time of year, we've seen 100 degree days. So when it's just 88, I'm thankful. Okay, I'm gonna put just a, about a fourth teaspoon of ground cinnamon into the cobbler mixture. Give that a whisk. Now, let me grab my pan so y'all can see. This goes into a 400 degree oven. You can use any fruit that you like or that your family likes. 400 degree oven for about 40 minutes, 35 to 40 minutes until it's golden brown like you like it on top. So on top of the melted one stick of butter, and my friend Henry's coming, and he loves this cobbler. So, have me a house full of men tonight, for sure. Okay, to that, I'm gonna dump my peaches, what I do with them, oh, there they are. Um, I have um, defrosted those today out of my freezer and I'm actually going to pour just a tiny bit of the juice off so that because I froze more peaches than I normally use for a cobbler recipe in this particular bag and if I don't put some of the uh, liquid off it's going to make a mess in my oven. So again this is way more peaches than I normally use. It usually takes one can, one of those big cans, I don't know the maybe a 28 ounce, that looks about right. This is one of those go-to recipes for us, too. We do a lot of cobblers around here, especially if crops are good and we get, you know, good peaches, good strawberries, blueberries, etc. Okay, there we have it. That's going into my 400 degree oven, and I might be able to talk one of these handsome young football players to do a taste test for you. Maybe. Depends on what kind of mood they have in. They have been in camp for a week and I will be in for another week in the heat. So they might just chill, I don't know. But that's how I did my peach cobbler. I hope you've enjoyed that. I'll be back with you later if they'll let me. See y'all. Thanks for tuning in, bye.